Hi friends, Tiani here, and I've got a new Kate Nard project I'm super excited to share with you. Today, we will be thinking about all of the things that we are thankful for, from our friends and family, to our favorite books, and even our favorite foods. One way to be reminded of all of these great things is by creating our own thankful rocks. And that's what we'll be doing today. Let's get started. What you'll need for this project is some rocks. You can gather as many rocks as you want, but you want them to be big enough to paint and draw on. Oil pastels or crayons if you have those. White paint, any kind of white paint will do. A brush and a paint palette. And if you don't have the paint palette, you can use any uh, thing to pour some paint on. It could be cardboard, it could be a plastic lid. You just want something that you can put your paint on. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure your rocks are nice and clean. So make sure you wash them and let them completely dry before you start. After that, we're gonna go ahead, get our paint palette and we're going to get our white paint and shake it up. And pour it. And now we are going to paint all of our rocks with some white paint. And this helps to make sure when you color on top with the oil pastels, that they really, the colors really pop on here. And if your paint is not opaque, so it means that, that it's a little transparent, it's a little see-through, you'll want to paint your rocks maybe two or three times, depending. So let's do that now. Now we're gonna let these dry and we'll be right back. Now that our rocks are dry, and for these I put on a second layer. Now you wanna start thinking about what are all the things that you are grateful, thankful for. It could be friends and family, it could be your favorite book or movie, even your favorite food. So after you think about those things, you'll want to go ahead and start designing each rock for all of the different things that you are thankful for. So now, move those to the side. We're gonna go ahead and start picking out the different colors of oil pastels we'll need and then start designing our rocks. So the awesome thing about oil pastels is that you can leave them with the texture like this, or you can take your finger and smooth the color out. And this is great for blending, which is exactly what I did with this one and this one. Give it a try.
here are my finished thankful grateful rocks so i am extremely thankful for their being able to eat lots of fruit and i love strawberries I am thankful for the moments where there is some quiet so that way I can have time to think. I'm thankful for being able to see sunsets. I am thankful for all the joy that is in my life. I'm thankful for art and art supplies and all the colors. And I am also thankful for all of the plants and trees that uh, we have here on our planet. So these are what I've created. And one extra step I'm just going to do is uh, oil pastels can rub onto your hands. And so sometimes it's a great idea. One great idea is to seal in the oil pastels. And there are a number of ways that you can do this, uh, but today I am going to be using some Mod Podge to get that on there. I've heard that you can also use some hairspray so that way it doesn't move. And so I'm going to go ahead and seal these in real quick. And here are the finished products. So with the Mod Podge, it makes the rocks look shiny. And also so that your oil pastels don't move around. There we go. Thank you so much for coming to create with me today. I would love to see what you have created, so don't forget to tag us on Instagram. See you next time.